There are some very, very powerful business trends happening in dentistry. The average dentist comes out of school right now with $450,000 of student loans. Well, most of those doctors, when they come out of dental school, the, the days of coming out of dental school and just walking out and saying, hey, I'm just going to go open a, a practice. When you've got $450,000 of debt hanging over your head, that there's payments now due because you've graduated, it creates a pretty intense need for income, right? So what's happening is everyone in the country knows, every doctor I talk to, every clinician, doctor, hygienist, assistants, every one of them would much rather practice in a private practice. Every patient I talk to says they would rather go to a private practice than feeling like they're part of the cattle moving system of a corporate office. And I don't know what doctor I'm gonna see. There's doc different doctors there all the time, and right? I'm a number, I come through, they, they do good work, but that relationship, that, that healthcare provider feeling starts to go away when you get into corporate dentistry. So no one loves the feel of it. It's not what's best for patients. It's not what's best for the doctor. It's not what's best for the staff. But corporate dentistry is absolutely taking over. And when you look at the trends, you can see why. When a student comes out of, of, of college, out of dental school with $450,000 worth of debt, they have to make money. The problem is the private practice is so busy running their private practice and they only have so much space and they don't have a lot of money, they're not willing to invest it, they're living a lifestyle based on my doctor's salary. How do we ever make room for this young guy to come into a private practice? He doesn't have money to buy in yet, but he needs 10 grand a month to service his student loans and, and have a modest income, right? So he needs 10 grand a month guaranteed. Corporate offices are gobbling them up like crazy because they've got the resources, they know how to market, they know what the, the model is. Heck yeah, come in here, we'll guarantee you 10 grand a month and we'll give you opportunity to grow with us. Most private practices are going, I can't afford to pay some guy 10 grand a month. What's he thinking? Right? And I don't know if I have the patience and in order for him to come in here, I gotta move over and he's gonna take some of my patients which is gonna hurt my income and they have a scarcity mindset. So private practices are fueling, through our fears, private practices are fueling the very animal that everybody hates. And our mission is to help private practitioners run their business like a business and learn how to take advantage of those powerful business trends which they can then capitalize on to achieve their financial goals. D dentists who are between 30, 35, and 55, 60 are in an incredible powerful position and they don't even realize it. They've already built a good solid foundation. They have a great reputation in the marketplace. They have good patient base, they're full. They are on the cusp of having anything they wanna do. The, the fun thing about dentistry is you can create any kind of lifestyle you choose to. These dentists have become excellent, or they, they've become really good at something that produces great results. The problem is they get so busy just being a dentist and a provider that they never figure out how to do the business side. And so they force every other, they're strengthening corporate dentistry while trying to protect what they have. And it's, it doesn't work. In order to really keep private practice alive, we need more of the private practitioners to take their love and their, their practice and grow it. Take what they've already become good at and help expand that.